everyone. Happy Thursday. Uh, so what we are doing today, we are talking about uh, chemical equations, chemical reactions, uh, just kind of going off how do we get a reaction. Uh, so go ahead, look through the agenda, do the attendance question. Yes, I watched the instruction video. Uh, also, if you're someone who doesn't watch the whole instruction videos, please do. It's only an extra couple of minutes, uh, and I always say something important. Awesome. So go ahead, open up the Pear Deck, and then let me know uh, what is the difference between a physical and a chemical change, a review from yesterday. And then go through. Uh, please note that uh, whenever there is these uh, squares, that means that you have to do more than one option. Uh, if there's ever just circles, that means that there's just one option uh, that you have to pick. So that is that. Uh, your exploration today is another FET simulator. If you remember from the States of Matter, we had to take all those screenshots, so it's another FET simulator. Um, so you're going to open up the assignment. It'll bring you here. Uh, this is the link to the FET simulation. Uh, so we'll open that up. And then there's also an instruction video from Mr. Horahan, so go ahead and watch that. Um, and basically what you're going to be doing is taking this chemical equation, so two bread plus one cheese, goes to or equals a cheese sandwich. Um, and you're going to be trying to predict, based on how many reactants I give you, how many products you can make. So our bread and our cheese is our reactants, our sandwich is our product. Uh, and so for our example, uh, I was given three bread and two cheese. Based on our equation, I need two breads and one cheese to make one product. So I could take uh, 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 two pieces of bread and one cheese to make one sandwich, but I don't have enough to make two sandwiches because I only have three pieces of bread instead of two pieces of bread, and there are no halves. Uh, and so then you're going to take a picture of the simulation. And then over here, so we're doing the sandwiches option. Uh, and so to check your work, so you're going to make a prediction and then check your work. So you have three bread, two cheese. Three bread, two cheese, and you can see, oh, yes, I do actually have one product, and then I have some leftovers. Those are basically things that don't matter to us that much. We're just looking for the full product. So you're going to go through and do that. So again, predict how many you're going to get, and then check and take a picture of it. Then there is also the option to do meat and cheese. Uh, and that gives us a new equation, two bread plus one meat plus one cheese equals one meat and cheese sandwich. So then go ahead and with all that information, decide what is the possible amount of sandwiches you can make. And then we have some wonderful uh, questions down here. Uh, this question says, research the term limiting reactant. Write a definition for the term in your own words. This one's going to be a little bit of a challenge because you're going to have to uh, Google a word that you pretty much don't know what it means. Um, you can make some context clues from limiting and reactant. Um, but try your best um, and get as close as you can. That's what I am looking for there. So that's an assignment. Uh, submit it when you are done. Your extension today is a quizzes um, on chemical reactions. So this is a link to your quizzes. Please use your first name and last initial as your username. And then star slides. So go ahead, fill out your star slides. VLA, use your uh, star slides online. Uh, check that you did everything and submit. All right, and then also um, grades have been flipped to that uh, from missing to 50%. So if you remember at the end of the half of the trimester, um, we switch missings from zeros to 50%, but they are still missing. Um, so you'll see comments that say missing, and you'll probably have 5 out of 10 on it. Uh, and I think that's everything I have today. If you have any questions, please let me know, and uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!